Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos and to the third video uh, of the video requests series. So, for this third video, it's a little bit different than what I said it would be. It's just going to be a, a, or a lot different than what I said it was going to be last time. Uh, it's going to be how to land with ILS or how to land uh, using autopilot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did release a video on how to land with autopilot, uh, series 6. I mean, uh, series one, episode six, I think it was, um, but that was just literally using autopilot. This is going to be how to land with ILS. So, to start off, we need the uh, ILS frequency and heading of the runway for wherever you go land. And to do that, all you need to do is going to press Alt to bring up this uh, menu bar at the top here. Press World and then Map and then that brings up this and then you can just zoom into whatever airport you're going at, so this one's Gatwick EGKK uh, and then you just click on the green uh, runway, uh, sorry not runways, uh, green strips here sort of arrows, uh, whatever you want to call them, there's usually one on either side but there's not always uh, and not every runway in the world will have them, only some of them, for example 26 right and 8 left don't have them but 8 right and 26 left do so basically you just click on this sort of area that they're in and to double check, check that you've got the right runway, runway it says at the top there 26 left and then you can just make a note on a bit of paper or whatever what the frequency is or you can just remember it if you've got a good memory I haven't so I always just write it down so I'm just writing down 110.9 and then you've also just got to write down the heading at uh, 261 and then that's it, that's all you need for this area uh, and then you can just hold down alt to get rid of that bar uh, so that's what you need to start off with and then obviously once you're on approach you then start using this stuff so I'm just going to now skip ahead to being on approach to the, uh, this airport Gatwick runway 26 left right so I'm now on uh, approach here uh, so I'll just bring up my GPS and it shows that I've already got a route in for Gatwick. Now if you're using ATC they usually tell you what runway you're landing at and it'll say ILS vectors or whatever. Make sure that they do say that otherwise they haven't lined you up for an ILS runway at which point you can change that. But uh, if you click this button just down here, the procedure button, uh, approach and then you select the runway that you want to land at. So I'm landing at 26 left. Uh, enter that, it is a vectors, then you can load it in or you can just activate it, so I'm going to activate mine now uh, and then it's got this new line that's come up here uh, now this isn't your ILS line, this is just your uh, navigation line uh, route basically to line you roughly up with the runway now I'm just going to start to descend a little bit more here and I'm also going to decrease the speed so all of this you still have to do uh, manually, speed and altitude at this point. This right now is only lining you up uh, with the GPS. So I'm also going to take down a degree of flaps and I think right about now I can bring down the gears. Uh, so once you're still lining up with the runway, you can obviously still look over there and see it if you want to. Uh, and you can also now key in your nav1 so you can put in uh, what we noted down earlier so it's 110.9 and then you can switch that over so make sure you click nav1 before you've done that and then you can switch it over and then you can also put in your course which was 261 so you can just bring that round to 261 like that uh, now if we bring up the GPS again, you can still see we're lining up with the runway. Now I have lined up quite late here, but this is just a tutorial, so it's not really doesn't really matter that much. So now that uh, I'm close enough to the ILS, I can click that ILS button there. I can switch it over to navigation. Make sure that this button is still on here. So I put that on earlier. The nav hold switch. I can still be bringing out the gears. Now at this point, you want to be watching this diamond here. So as soon as that diamond reaches that middle point there, you click the approach hold switch and this will then start to descend you down. So I'll just say that again. Once this diamond, it will start coming down, 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 down. Once it lines up with that line there, the middle of that diamond, you press the approach hold switch and then that does that for you. It starts to descend for you. So you 
continue to decrease speed skill on your own and lower the flaps as well and this is now controlling my altitude as well as my direction so uh, obviously I've just to recap I've still got the navigation on ILS switch on and now the approach switch instead of the navigation hold switch and I can continue to decrease the speed right down now to landing speed almost so I'm now at 150 knots uh, so I don't need to touch the altitude anymore because that's now being handled by the aircraft now as you can see I was coming in a little bit too fast so it has had to get the nose down quite a bit there so I am just going to decrease the speed a little bit more <clears throat> while this skill handles uh, decreasing my altitude so now it's lifting up a little bit now that I've slowed down my flaps are out at full so you still have to angle flaps and everything like that and uh, it's pretty much lining up itself with the pappy lights here you can see it's too red too white but that will change as you get right now close right down close to the runway so it's skill pretty much level now the aircraft as it should be for landing uh, see if you don't get the diamond quite right it might land a little bit early or a little bit late which is why you've got to make sure you get it perfectly on that line as best as you can you're better off doing it slightly um, slightly earlier so at this point you can now actually disengage all of the autopilot it will just glide down you can put your engine to idle and then you can flare on your own just like that and then hold down F2 or use your uh, hardware to turn on the uh, reverse thrusters and press the slash key to bring up the uh, speed brake or spoilers and then you can press the braking to come to a full stop and you're pretty much going to be lined up with the line pretty much obviously it won't be perfect um, because it just isn't but in some cases it will it just depends on the ILS really so uh, that is basically it if you've got any questions about it uh, then you can just comment below and I'll be happy to try and answer them as best as I can or some of my volunteers will uh, so that's it really um, like I said any questions comment email or anything uh, but it's pretty simple once you got the hang of it uh, and that's it so there'll be another video out next uh, well in a few days for the next video request uh, so that will come out very soon and thank you for watching